What's the meaning of genetic information? What about the genetic program? Chromosomes, DNA, what do they carry and where they are located? Hello, I am Mrs. Saha from the Bio Academy. And if you want to get a higher mark in biology, so you are in the right place. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos and let's begin. So here we go. Today we're going to talk about the carriers of genetic information. What are the objectives we're going to try to meet today? We're going to indicate that chromosomes are the carrier of genetic information. We will label a cell and we will show that chromosomes are the carriers of genetic information. So we're going to start by labeling a simple, a very simple animal cell. So what you see outside this part is called a cell membrane and the small part inside is a nucleus and this fluid all around the nucleus is the cytoplasm. Okay? Now, chromosomes, carriers of genetic information, what does this mean? So, as we said before, that inside most of our cells, there is a nucleus, and inside this nucleus, there are structures, and these structures are called chromosomes. Chromosome is made up of DNA. Have you ever listened to someone talking about DNA? Yes, DNA. So the DNA is the chemical structure of chromosome. It is what this chromosome is made up of. And inside the chromosome, there is fragments. These fragments are called genes. Gene. So the gene defines a character. It defines a trait. It defines something that describes you. For example, the gene here, it defines whether you have a detached earlobe or an attached earlobe. So the earlobe is called a genetic information. So genetic information is a character, is a trait, where it is found, where the information of this trait is found in the chromosome. Let's take another example of genetic information, the skin color. Another example, the eye color. So the genetic information is an information, is a character, is a trait that defines you. And the information that uh, defines this character are found in the chromosome. That's why we say that chromosomes are the carriers of the genetic information. So, the genetic information is a hereditary trait or a character. For example, this is the fourth example, the types of hair. And this character or this genetic information is transmitted from parents to offspring. Offspring means the descendant, the kids, okay? So this genetic information can pass from a generation to another. That means from parents to offspring. And what carries this genetic information? This is our hero, the chromosome. So. You have to study the sentence very well. The chromosomes that are found in the nucleus of a cell carry the genetic information. Okay, finally, what does mean genetic program? It's all genetic information. So all your genetic information means it's the same as genetic program. Okay, now let's go Chromatin, chromosomes, what does each mean? So, sometimes when you observe cells under the microscope, you may find inside the nucleus thin filaments 
and they are known as chromatin. And sometimes, if you observe the same type of cell, but at a different time, you will find inside the nucleus what we call chromosomes. So the thin filaments, these are called chromatin. However, when they are thick and condensed, they are called chromosomes. طيب, what does this mean? What's the difference between chromatin and chromosomes? So, the chromatin and the chromosomes are actually have the same structure, they have the same genetic information, but they look different. They have different shapes. طيب, when do I find in the nucleus chromatin and when I find chromosomes, you can find the chromosomes inside the nucleus of your cells only when these cells are dividing. So if my cells are not dividing, so if I observe them under the microscope, I will find inside the nucleus chromatin. However, if the cells are dividing, they are giving new cells. This means that I'm going to find inside the nucleus what we call chromosome. Okay? Type. This process, this phenomenon of let's say transforming, it's not a kind of transformation, but passing from the chromatin into chromosome, this is called condensation. So condensation means chromatin or transforming into chromosomes. Okay? Now, that's sum up. So, you have to know very well different parts of a cell, the main parts of a cell that are the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. You have to know the difference between chromatin and chromosome. The chromatin is found in a non-dividing cell, however, chromosomes are found in a dividing cell and sure inside the nucleus. And the main important part of this lesson is that the chromosomes are the carriers of the, of the genetic information, I'm sorry. So, the genetic information is a character, is a trait, and this character can be transmitted from parents to offspring. Let me know in the comment whether you inherited your genetic information from your mom, your dad, or maybe both. And don't forget that positive thoughts are certainly the first steps toward achieving your goal.